Hello, my friends, and welcome to episode 15 of At the Parks, featuring Olivia and Sammy, and of course, Rose, and now little Preston. Yes, once again, my keyboard's being a jerk, but there he is. Yes, finally. <laughs> There's a little dude. Well, yeah, it's been a little bit since I've done a Sims 3 video, but, you know, no better time than right now to do it. Yeah, and compare these guys and their very, very tight financial situation with um, Adeline and Gilbert over in uh, Neverglade, who just had a major home renovation, like a massive one, and they had all this money left to spare. Whereas these two are just scraping by with what they have. Yes, you could say that this family is hard mode compared to the other, but I think things are going to be okay in the long run. Oh no, poor little dude. Gotta give him some attention. So, come over here. Yeah, and I'm sorry, um, Olivia, but you are going to be having quite the um, hectic life for a while. But you know what? It's going to be very rewarding, and she knows that. She's a very smart, very smart lady, and knows that although this is really difficult taking care of two young children, she knows it's going to be very rewarding to see them grow up. But yes, Preston, the youngest and newest member of our extended family joining of course Arthur over on Adeline's uh, side of the family as well as Rose over here and Nathan and now Preston making four of them and soon Adeline will be having a second child bringing the total of the new generation to five But he knows he's definitely a very loved little baby. Alright. So he is really happy now. So why not let him rest some more? And is she ready to wake up? Not quite, but almost. You might as well empty this out, Olivia. Man, I wonder if we'll actually give her a chance to write her um, novel today. Something tells me that we're not going to have much, if any, of a chance. But, well, we can try, you know. Ah, yes. I kind of like this detached house idea. It's different. It's different than what I've done for the rest of the, f the family. So I think things can work out well here. It's almost time for her to wake up. But, hmm. Is there anything you need to do here? Do we have leftover food? We do. Okay. You know what? It's going to be time to wake up your daughter in a minute, but we can squeeze out just a little bit of writing of the book Morning Sickness. So, let's come over here and watch as she rests. She definitely needs diaper changed and food. But all things will be occurring. Sammy, of course, has to go to work today, as we can see. Yes, he has to be the breadwinner, because his wife is, of course, very, very occupied with the children. But she will, if she can, attempt to get some writing done. And look how high her fun is. So we have that going. Yes. Oh, and by the way... I almost forgot to mention, and I haven't mentioned this in a while, but I actually created playlists for each and every one of the four second generation members on, you know, of music here on YouTube. So Adeline, Olivia, Trevor, and uh, William each have a playlist. They're all different styles of music. They're all examples of what I listen to, although it's a very, like, tiny piece of the pie because I listen to a whole huge amount of things and I think that they really each playlist uh, fits the personality of the person described 
So I'll link Olivia's playlist down below. And then you can check that out if you feel like it. Yes, I just thought I just thought of that because she of course has the um, All American Rejects shirt. And that is indeed one of one of the bands on the playlist, naturally, because it's on her shirt. Alright, but it's time for you to care for your daughter. And um, Rose is actually going to be a child in just three days, so we're very close to that day. She wasn't that far behind. Um, she wasn't that far behind Arthur, all things considered. All right, so here we go. Yep, pick her up. Okay. That should give her a little boost. Yes, very nice. And Rose is in a really good shape. Um, Olivia's been doing a very good job with, with her daughter. Okay. Um. Yeah, you do that, and while she's eating, hmm, why don't you eat? I mean, as nice as it would be to eat with your husband, he is going to be, um, you're probably going to be back in bed by the time he gets up. And he understands that. And he's grateful for all that you're doing. All right. So, there she goes, eating her food. She wants to improve her handiness skill, too, which is nice, but I don't think there's anything to... Well, you know, she could, I could have her upgrade things, but, you know, any free time, she probably wants to either sleep or work on her writing. All right, bro. Oh, look, he wants to chat with his wife. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Okay, you're done at, what, seven? Okay. First of all, Olivia, pick up your daughter. Yeah, of course, you can put that away first. Or he's going to be waking up at 7. And you know what? Little dudes over here. You got a little time, right? You definitely want to snuggle him. And... Well, he hasn't changed. Just, he doesn't need a diaper change yet, but he might. And, you know... Sammy can help out with that. Oh, man. So, we're going to put her down here. And then, Olivia, get some sleep. You should be climbing into bed just about... No, not there. Uh, okay, sure, why not? Can she go here? Can she go outside on her own? We'll find out. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Nope. Okay. Well then, you're just going to be in here then, since your mom didn't want to bring you all the way there. Aw, oh, now look at that. Looking at each other for the brief moment that they get to rest together. But, here comes Sammy, waking up. Oh, she's all upset. Well, you know what? You also want to toss her in the air, right? So why don't you do that? Give your daughter some attention. Let her know that daddy loves you too. And she's crying up a storm, so... Babana Badoon. What's this? And snuggle. Ah. Okay, well, we'll put that out. Yeah, he's in pretty good shape otherwise, so we don't have to really worry about too many things. Alright, so go here with your daughter. And yes, he has pooped himself. So I want you to put her down. And then you're going to change the diaper. 
play with and snuggle your son. All these things should be good. And you, Rose, have any number of toys to play with here, so there you go. Oh. All right, time to pick up the boy. No, wait. You can go to work when... Why is your police car over there? Oh, whatever. Yeah, when you've done all these things, you can go to work. And yes, this is the first time that he's officially picked up his son. Very cute. And he shouldn't be late. It should be okay. Give him a big snuggle. Also, I believe... Let me check here. Just two days. So yeah, they'll be toddlers together for one day. Alright, Sammy. Changing into his uniform. And out he goes. Making more money for the fam. Because of course... You know, they will eventually have to upgrade and update and expand. And who knows, they might even want a third child someday. Probably not for a bit, because they have quite a lot going on. But Olivia, sleeping away. You know, if this was real life, you'd never, like, allow this to happen. <laughs> because who knows, she could be, like, choking on things as we speak, but... Fortunately, there is no horrifying choking mechanic in this game, and that's only a good thing. Okay. But, how about, how about you sleep? We'll have you sleep until 11. We'll ha give you a nice, long rest, Olivia. And then maybe you can write some more. Don't you want to do that? Also, very uh, increasingly self-sufficient Rose is going to be uh, using the toilet. The poopy chair. Preston is resting. <laughs> That's kind of clever of me. He's going to need to be fed too, so before you write, you might want to do that. But all these things will be happening. Let's see, as far as his job... Everything seems to be good. He ne definitely needs to go on a rummage later, just like his father-in-law. And I have to stop making that comparison, because I think I make that comparison every single episode, like the silly lad that I am. But that's okay. Alright. So. Um. Yes, and it's very sad that Preston turned out to be clumsy because of a stressful pregnancy of Olivia's, but, you know, it didn't stop, it didn't stop, you know, good old, uh, damn, why am I blanking on his name? Gilbert, of course, Uncle Gilbert, from achieving greatness at sports, even though he's clumsy himself. All right, Olivia, time for you to get up. Yes. Ooh. Get yourself moving. And yes, the, the lad does need the pee. What's this? Oh, he wants, she wants to snuggle her daughter again. Don't worry, my child. You will be taken care of. Fortunately, the baby stage doesn't last that long, so... Things will be moving soon. Oh no, it's the phone. <laughs> Special guest, the phone. <laughs> this phone from the 80s, or possibly the 90s, which is ringing in the background. Um, yeah, put him in the crib. Then you need to actually then give her a snuggle. Then empty that. And then, Olivia, why not work on your novel? Man, oh man, Olivia's doing all the things. It definitely seems 
it definitely seems that her, um, you know, that she has a handle on things now. Like the, the stress that she had earlier seems to be largely, um, well, I don't want to say going away, because I'm sure she's still very stressed now. But she's at least uh, getting a handle on things. Like, she, she's a competent person. And she's getting dressed. That's what I think about the, the family in general. All, they're all very competent people. Very well raised. Very intelligent. Have, have their head together. Their heads. Obviously, more than just one head. Okay. And upstairs you go, Olivia, to work on your novel. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, Rose is playing with the, um... I love how toddlers play with, um, doll houses, because they try to eat the dolls and smack the dolls and all this stuff. But that's what toddlers do, I think. I don't know. I don't have any... don't have any kids yet myself, so... So, there goes Olivia writing, and her fun is still fairly high from all the, um, all the, uh, what's it called? Well, the interactions with her, um, with her kids. So it's pretty nice. So yeah, these two are good for now. So we're just going to keep her, um, writing for a bit. Hey! more money for the publisher and yes I do hope that Olivia gets to the point where she can really start making big bucks with writing like her mom or maybe even more who knows she did she did have a bit of a head start in that she got writing skills before she even became an adult so I think based on that she should be able to um, do some stuff now you my good man you don't have to go home right away you know, as in the words of the great Pearl Jam, why go home? Of course, that song's about something completely different, but be that as it may. So you, my friend, are going to be going on a rummage. Yes. Oh, man, is that Simlish? Is that written Simlish? Because that's pretty cool, a script right there. Ah, good man, earning that money. And who's that? Ludwig Franco, is he your buddy? Oh yeah, you are good friends. But yeah, it's time for you. And what's this? Earn a raise? Oh yes, he definitely wants that. And we hope he gets it. So, jumping back to Olivia. And while I weren't looking, she really needs to pee. What's this? Improve writing skill, yep. Oh look, she can go between houses. Imagine that. Use and shower, Olivia. Yes, we definitely, uh, we definitely want these things. And then, of course, it's probably about time to feed Rose. Well, Sammy goes on his rummage. And also, we're going to need the computer free for him to write his report. Okay. Yeah, and he already ate. <laughs> and how's little Preston doing? Well, he's gonna be he's gonna be uh doing the poo poo very soon. Oh, and she's eating the um yep, Tyler's eat everything. What's this? Tickle rose, aw. Yeah, we'll we'll save that for you. Alright, well, hopefully we'll be getting the message that he found good stuff in the rummage and he's ready to, you know, have some fun. Of course, he's getting dirty, filthy, doing the rummage, getting his crap in his pocket. Alright. Um, let's see here. Yeah, she's getting hungry, so give her a tickle and then feed her in the high chair. And while you're doing that, it might be time for you to eat yourself. Hey, good job. Now, before anything weird happens... Oh, you never finished that report? Can you only do one report at once?
Oh, I think you can, but we can write that one and then finish the next one. I think all things like that would be good. All right. And then after you give your daughter food, you can have grilled cheese. Actually, oh no, you can't. You can't do that now. You must you must give attention to Preston. Preston Park, PP. Well, PP is right. I wonder what his middle name is. Because if it starts with an O, it could be Pop. Or Pap. Or Pup. <laughs> so change diaper, snuggle, play. We're just going to give him all the attention that we can. And Rose, you can hang out in that chair for a little bit, right? I'm sure you can. Meanwhile, our man is uh, doing his thing with the with the writing. Doesn't have that much trash in his uh, in his thing. Oh look, he has his own police cruiser and he has a big lemon. Maybe I should put down some parking spaces for these guys. Ah, uh, but look how happy this little dude is. He's going to be ready to rest very soon. Yes, having a bottle. I definitely could use some food, too. Oh, man. All right, put him in the crib, and then pick her up. Cause she's doing very well. Pick, no, don't put her in the crib. It's not, she's not tired enough for that. Pick her up. Okay. Now yeah, Rose has taken being stuck in that chair pretty well. Just chilling out, not screaming. I remember, I think it was in The Sims 2, like, if you waited one second too long, they scream at you, like, ah, let me out. Bang, bang, bang. Same with the crib. All right, and then you can eat this grilled cheese. Oh, don't put her on the ugh. Oh, she wants to, oh, okay, sure. You want to come back in here, that's fine. Oh, good job. And it's time for you to immediately write the other report. What's this? Tickle Rose. Well, you'll keep that for sure. Yeah, sadly, the two of them are not getting much interaction directly today. It might be time for a little nap for you. Actually, Rose, you are probably going to want to use this. Can you go there? Well, let's find out. Can she possibly open this door? Hey, she can. It's amazing. All right. Clean up your plate. And then I want you to take a little nap. Just because I don't want you to be uh, waking up too soon. Oh, that's disgusting. We gotta clean that, but we'll do that later. You deserved a little bit of a rest. All right. And one day we will have to upgrade that thing. I think she's only going to nap until maybe 8, only like an hour long. Because she's of course going to need to be rested enough to do more stuff. Oh, and by the way, when you're done, you can take a shower and also clean the damn shower when you're done. And it's going to be pretty soon time to put Rose to bed, but... Not quite yet. Uh. Hope the computer doesn't break. Oh, you're stinky. Well, you are going to the shower. So that problem is being fixed. By the way, they, they both have cooking skills, so that's good. 
Man, you are doing well with your reports. In fact, well, it should be higher, but it'll be higher by tomorrow, I'm sure. All right, we said 8 o'clock, so it's time for you to wake up. Time for you to wake up, Olivia. Oh, man. Well, here she comes. And now, very soon, we're going to have both members of the family cleaning up. It's very good. Like how you can see people going, key on German, key on. Sure, why not? Okay, anything else we need to clean while we're here? You know what? Do you want to do that? I think we might be able to get you to be able to do that. You can at least work on that while um, he cleans the shower. Yep. Olivia, what can't you do? Good with your hands. Good mom. Good writer. Very smart. Very smart girl. Okay. Well, he's done. You know what? How about we are going to make sure that he gives her all the attention that he can. Because she definitely deserves some affection after all the hard work she's been doing for the family. Sheva do. Smoochy, smoochy, smooch. Yes. And what can she do? Hmm. Thank him for helping with the cleaning. And ask him about how his day was. And you, what can you do? Make out, why not? And also pay, praise her novel, why not? All right, oh, there she goes. She's really tired. Well, you know what, Olivia, why not let's let you have some writing time because I know you want to do that and I mean I could have some more upgrading time but yeah let's have writing time whereas you your daughter's getting very tired so you want to give her a tickle see and then you want to put her in the crib that's what you want to do all right Yep, no more toy time for you, I'm afraid, Rose. You are very sleepy and very ready for bed. He is getting hungry, though. All right, and... Right, you know what? You're going to snuggle, play with, and snuggle again your son before emptying that. And then you know what? Oh, you have some leftover mac and cheese. And then it should be about time to end our day at that point, I think. I think that's where we're headed. Zima Dima Numa Woo. That's how I feel about it, too. Yes, yeah, so... All the children will be asleep very soon. Well, he won't be, but... You know. Close enough. <laughs> Ooh. Olivia earning that money. Go, Olivia. 
Well, Olivia's going to keep writing until he's done eating. So, yep, he's thinking about bed. And aren't we all thinking about bed? Unless you're watching this early in the morning and you're already well rested. What's this over here? Oh, for a second I thought those were a bunch of chess tables and I was like, oh. Because <laughs> I know we, we bought one. We don't have anywhere to really put it right now. All right, and let's check on Olivia as she writes, getting ever closer to finishing. She's flattered, had a great kiss, so she has a lot of good things going on for her. She's in a pretty solid mood. All right, yep, Sammy, you eat your food. Definitely something that you want to do. We, we will not be having uh, starvation while we do this, because that would be, uh, starvation is very rude. All right, Olivia, it's time for you both to come down here. And, well, you know, you know how we're gonna cap off a day. After all, these two could use the fun boost. So, there we go. Trying to make sure they arrive in the bed at precisely the same time. Because one of them will get up, you know how it goes. <coughs> and there we go. And hey, you can even see that they're sleeping in the background. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us quite wonderfully to the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do like making these Sims 3 episodes, and I hate having that I made you wait as long as I did to return to them. But we reached the end of the episode here, and next time we will be joining William and Fatima, the last couple that has not yet had children, as they continue to get used to their new house and have fun. So, until then, so long.